Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. This evening we've got brand new numbers, striking numbers that have never been seen before and they may reshape how you think about illegal immigration. So you've heard the same line a million times. It's repeated like a mantra by the left during every debate on the subject. All immigrants are hardworking and law-abiding. They do jobs you wouldn't consider doing, and they do them cheerfully. They sacrifice for their families in ways you probably don't. In fact, and this is always the last point, it's always delivered with the confident satisfaction of someone shutting down a debate with superior data, undocumented immigrants actually commit fewer crimes on average than native-born Americans. Not only are immigrants more virtuous than you are, but they're safer to be around. In other words, stop complaining. They're your superiors. But wait, are we sure that that is true? Are people who are in this country precisely because they were willing to break our immigration laws really less likely to break other kinds of laws? It doesn't make a lot of sense. Yet until today, strangely enough, no one could say for sure whether it was true, because reliable statistics didn't seem to exist. Our government tracks pretty much every trend and every phenomenon you can think of, from how many pounds of pistachio nuts are recalled every year to how many fifth graders are injured on swing sets, how many people die in bathtubs. This is a nation of record keepers. We're overseen by an army of spreadsheet-wielding bureaucrats. Numbers control our lives, except on this subject. Somehow, the government went for years without honestly trying to track the volume of crime committed by illegal immigrants in this country. Maybe they were too incompetent to do it. More likely, they didn't want you to know the answer or to think about it even. In any case, we now for the first time have the actual numbers, and here they are. According to statistics from the U.S. Sentencing Commission, non-citizens are actually far more likely to commit serious crimes than Americans are. Non-citizens account for 22 percent, more than a fifth, of all federal murder convictions, 18 percent of fraud convictions, 33 percent of money laundering convictions, 29 percent of drug trafficking convictions, and 72 percent of convictions for drug possession. Meanwhile, the non-citizen percentage of the American population, about 7 percent. So that is a massively disproportionate amount of crime, not even close. No, immigrants are not more law-abiding and less dangerous than Americans. That's totally untrue. Indeed, it's the opposite of the truth. Non-citizens are more likely to be arrested, convicted, and imprisoned for serious crimes than people who were born here, much more likely. So why didn't we know this until now? Why have so many people been lying to us about this for so long? That's a question we plan to ask a whole bunch of people. Well, we'll start tonight with Ali Narani. He is executive director of the National Immigration Forum, and he joins us in the studio. Thanks all for coming on. Thanks for having me. So this is a conversation I've had, I don't know, a dozen times in the past month uh, on this show where people say, well, actually, non-citizens are less likely to commit crimes. And they cite some Cato study or something. Now we have definitive numbers on this from the U.S. Sentencing Commission that shows that non-citizens are not just more likely to commit crimes, serious crimes, like murder and fraud, drug trafficking, but far more likely to commit those crimes. Why are we just learning this now? Well, the bigger question, I think, Tucker, is how do we make sure that we are keeping the nation secure in a way that's using our valuable law enforcement resources the best way? Because I'll be the first to tell you that we are a nation of laws, and we're, in law, and we're a nation that should be keeping Americans safe. Right. So let's make sure that law enforcement are in a position to do their job and get those violent threats, those public safety threats, off the streets particularly if they are immigrants. And the way you do that is that you make sure that the immigrant community can trust local law enforcement. So that's why I'm concerned about the direction of the administration when it comes to immigration enforcement, because they're actually undermining the ability uh, of local law so, enforcement so to do their So enforcing, I, this is like this weird alchemy where enforcing border laws makes us less safe somehow. But let me ask you, if 22% of all federal murder convictions are of non-citizens, but only 7% of the population is non-citizen, that suggests we're letting in the wrong people. It suggests that we should be doing a much better job in terms of local law enforcement. And the way to do that is to make sure that the immigrant community is in a position to report crimes. Because at the end of the day, those, those individuals who are immigrants who are committing those crimes, you know who the, like, the most likely victim is? The immigrant. Well, that's irrelevant. Wait, wait, so, hold on. So, wait, 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 so hold on. so you're we, saying that, wait, wait, hold on. I, let's just pause and sure. let these numbers kind of settle. Because these yeah. have not been public until today. 
22% of all federal murder convictions, non-citizens. 33% of money laundering convictions, non-citizens. 29% drug trafficking, 72% of all convictions for drug possession, non-citizens. Non-citizens are far more likely to commit serious crimes than native-born citizens, um, and foreign-born citizens, for that matter. Why shouldn't this make us want to radically curtail immigration into the country. It makes me radically want to make sure, I radically want to make sure that law enforcement are able to do their job because, again, those, those crimes are being committed within the immigrant community. So the what's No, happening, some no, are. No, but that's not. I mean, no. some are, some aren't. Well, hold on. We, we've but got it, these numbers today, so it, we actually don't really know where these crimes are being committed. We don't know anything about it other than this. Like, this is the first No, but if you actually data if you look at the this. research, the research shows that the immigrant community is the victim of, is the disproportionate But it doesn't community. matter. So then, but, like, what, but what but matters why is... Why are we letting in people who are many times more likely to commit murder, fraud, drug trafficking than people who are born here. Why don't we think through who we let in? Doesn't it suggest that to you? It suggests to me that our immigration system is fundamentally broken and we need to make sure that those individuals who are here who are undocumented are registering for legal status, passing a criminal background check, learning English, and coming out no, of the no, I get that you've got your pre-existing priorities that you want. I understand you do it for a living, okay, and I respect that. But again, for the third time, these are brand new numbers. We didn't know them when we woke up this morning. Now we do. The debate is over. Non-citizens far more likely to commit dangerous crimes than citizens. So with that in mind, does that shock you? It shocks me that we haven't been uh, approaching the problem the correct way. But why have we been saying the opposite with such great authority all these years? Well, actually, you know, according to Cato or some think tank, I mean, can we just pause and say, you know, we were totally wrong about what we've been saying. The problem here is that we want to get violent criminals off the streets. Is that correct? We don't want them in here in the first is, place. We do, we do not so want them. So why are we making law enforcement deal with these people? Why don't we stop it at the border and then we don't have to put our police and citizens at risk? I think that's a great idea. And yeah. the way you do that is that you make sure that you have a functioning legal immigration system and a process for people to go through. The only people who are hiding for law, from law enforcement... Really? I thought, don't we bring in more than a million people legally every year? It's clearly out of more whack More than any other need. country in it's, the world? We're also a much bigger country than almost no, any other country. we're not, and our actually. Law, and our, no, and our not workforce is, and and our workforce is actually much more dynamic and fluid. Maybe. Than, okay, but right? leaving the economics okay. of it aside, I mean, that's another show, another debate, but I, I just... I just want to acknowledge that one of the core operating assumptions that we have had for years, and I've been at the center of this mm -hmm. debate, was wrong. Not just wrong, but totally wrong. It was a lie. Does that make you reassess what you thought a little bit? What I want to try to assess is how do we actually solve the problem? I mean, we can, you know, if you want to, you know, to, to quibble about statistics, you should bring somebody from Cato. Cato no, but it's not, it's not quibbling. But it's my, my, what we've been claiming I, I, is the very opposite of the truth. I want to focus on solving problems. That problem is individuals who are here who are violent criminals and public safety threats. I want them off the streets, Tucker. The only way you can do that is to make sure that the crimes they commit are being reported by the victims. And if the victim is an immigrant, we need to make sure that okay, they can trust that, but, but why? Well, clearly someone's reporting these crimes. We don't have a problem with that because, again, the I mean, we have disproportionately uh, big numbers here. My question is, why do you think non-citizens are committing crimes at a far greater rate than Americans are? I think we got to make sure that individuals who are coming to the country have been properly vetted. They're going through the process that they need to. And the folks who are here and so are undocumented... So you think they haven't been properly vetted? And the folks that are here who are undocumented, we need to require they pass a criminal background check. That is our biggest problem right now, because the individual undocumented immigrant who's a violent threat to our public safety, they, they're the ones hiding... In Why wouldn't we just build a wall? Like, the public kind of wants that. What's the argument against that exactly? If you actually want to solve a problem at the border, you want to actually focus where the problem is. The majority of drugs, guns, and money are smuggled at ports of entry. But these the are not drugs and guns and money. The these are people those committing crimes. Those so individuals like, who are committing crime, those crimes, they're coming in through but, ports. But of so, do you think a, a wall wouldn't help at all? Because why? I want to. I want to put money where the risk is on the border, where the majority. Of drugs well, we didn't are. even know there was this risk until about two hours ago. So, like, but, I mean, maybe we should pause and think about these numbers because they are shocking. You will concede that. Thank you, Ali. Appreciate Thank you. it.